Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a new video for you today. Since our last video, I've replaced that old broken fan shroud that I showed you in an earlier video. Look at that. That's how they fix stuff on this Jeep. Today, we're gonna to be replacing this old bent up, tired front bumper. I got a brand new one over here. There's part of the box to it. And we're gonna be having that bumper on this Jeep. So let's get to it. All right, guys, it's obviously the next morning. What I got done yesterday was I got the front bumper taken off. I had to cut the head of this bolt off because the nut that was welded under here <clears throat> broke loose and was spinning. So I did get the bolt out of the nut after I got the, the, the head of the bolt cut off. And so I'm gonna be missing one bolt. I gotta weld that nut back in place. I'm gonna clean up all this right here i uh, got to use these bolts to secure the bumper down as well. So I'm going to clean this stuff up, try to get this nut welded back on, and then we'll see how that bumper fits up here.
All right, guys, I've run into a little snag. This filler plate here is not going to fit correctly. I bought this off eBay, and this bumper right here that I just ordered shows it being used with this filler plate. Here's a picture of it right here. The bumper on eBay also had a picture showing a measurement from here, this edge, to the leading edge of this piece. And it was 9 inches, 9.58 inches. My bumper measures from here to here just over 11. So the pictures in the description were not accurate. The, the form factor of the bumper is the same. For some reason, they've added more metal this way. So, that means that unless I can figure out something, I'm not going to be able to use this filter panel right here. I really don't want all of this right here showing. I'd like to cover it up. This filter panel is not in the best shape. Somebody has... Rhino lined it, but I think I can get that off. I almost ordered a new one. Well, a new used one. But I'm proud I didn't because I'd have had to hack it up. So I want to see if there's any kind of mods I can do to this to make this filter panel fit in such a small area right here. So anyway, that's what I got to do now. Thanks to a bad description on eBay. So I could petition it. I, but I mean, I... It's not that big of a deal to me. I can black all that out and it'll look fine, but it's just not what I bought or what I thought I was buying. So it is what I bought, but so they sent me a different one than what was in the pictures. So, all right, let me figure out what I got to do with that. I still haven't got my nut welded on over here. I still got to do that. Alright, I got that all texture coated up and looking very nice. So that's ready to go back on. I ended up trimming this whole bottom ledge off that made it kind of stand up. So this piece right here should lay flat on the bumper. We'll see how well that works. I might have to bolt it down in a couple of spots. Going to try not to, just let the bolts on the side hold it in place. See how well it fits. Now I'm ready to try to get that nut welded back to the frame so the bumper bolt to the frame in the front bolting area right here so i need to take the bumper back off and get that welded up we'll start going together with this puppy
this bumper comes with spacers that's meant to set right here to space the bumper up even with this bracket right here and when you set the bumper up this thing moves around so i'm going to tack weld that down into place and the, also the one on this side and i will freshen it up with a little paint keep it from rusting and then i'll set the bumper up there Alright guys, I've done taking this U-bolt out of this bracket here. I'm taking this bracket off here because it's not supposed to be on there. That's some weird way they had the steering stabilizer shock hooked up before I got the Jeep. So I put it back in the factory location and now I'm trying to get this plate off that they've welded to the frame. I mean, it's just, that's just normal at this point. So anyway... I'm going to get to cutting on that. Okay guys, I've still got the finished bolt and the bumper the rest of the way up. I was going to show you this piece. I know it's got the sun and the shadow on it, hard to tell. But uh, what I plan on doing, they drilled some holes right here for fog lights. I'm going to get me some big push pins and push in there. I'm going to drill me about three holes down through here. Put some push pins through there. That make this thing good and stable. It's not too bad right now, but that will lock it on down. And I'm pleased with the way it looks. Originally, I was thinking this was going to go under that. There's no way for me to do that and maintain any kind of a look from this piece right here. So I can put those push pins in there. If I want to dress it up even more, I can put a piece of door edge trim. So with this big old surface area right here, I'm not sure 
I won't end up putting a winch on that thing. I don't know that I need a winch, but I think it would look good. So, anyway, I gotta tighten this emblem up. This is the second one of these EAG bumpers I got. Both the emblems was loose. So I've already hand tightened it, but I gotta get an eight millimeter socket back in here and tighten those nuts. So anyway, let's get back at it. Alright guys, there's our bumper put on, fully installed, and I'm happy with it. I do like it. I'm proud I was able to make this piece right here work. It would have been not looking the way I wanted it to look without that. The texture I put on it actually matches the bumper very well. So I'm pleased. I know the sun's kind of glaring. I've got it backed up in the shade, but... I think it looks pretty good. I didn't want a bumper that stuck out just very, very far, and that much area it sticks out a little bit, but it's not just terrible. So anyway, that's our video for this week. Y'all come back next week. And we'll see what we got going then. Thanks for watching, and y'all remember to hit that like button if you liked the video, and if you hadn't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thanks a lot.